Hey, Wizards, it's Kieran Frockhammer. With Kimberly Thunderblue. And we're right out here at Bartleby because we were summoned. We were summoned by Mr. Ambrose, and apparently we're going to go do some inter-school competition. Yep, yep. We've been invited to Pigswick's Academy, so we're going to take a break from... Um, Crocotopia, yeah, that's where we were last, and we're going to go and head over to Pigswick Academy today and see exactly how that's going to go. So, yeah, sorry about last week. We got pretty busy. You know, it's trying to get ready for school time around here. I'm sure it is for you, too. And we didn't get a chance to record, plus we had some internet issues. But now we get to explore Pigswick Academy, which I don't think I've ever been here before. So, well, yeah, I have been here before, but, but it's been Hello years. there. You must be our visiting wizard. Welcome to Pigswick Academy. I'll need to see your Ravenwood ring. Just a formality, of course. You show Mrs. Dowage the ring Mr. Lincoln gave you. Good times. She inspects it and hands it back. Excellent. Be sure to put that somewhere safe. You're here, of course, to build a sense of community between the different magic schools and to try to win the Spiral Cup. Go to the tournament hall to take a look at it. Then speak to Benedict Glendemming. He is both Master of Arms and our judge. You will probably need to demonstrate your skills in a qualifying match. So be on the ready. When you've passed the qualifying round... Return to me, and we'll get you sorted out. How exciting! Oh, you don't know. Okay, awesome. So, we're in a competition. Ready, Kimberly? This one's fun. I like. Yeah. I like Pigswick Academy. I mean, I think that it's fun. The I wish that the um, the students were a little bit harder to defeat, like a little bit more challenging. But it's okay. Like, you inspect the Spiral Cup. The greatest prize in all the spiral. It looks like it's been here a while. Well, that means our school sucked because they've been winning. Okay. <laughs> We're going to bring it back home. Boy, I love these porches. I don't think I've ever really looked at them before. Yeah. It's kind of funny looking. Okay. Greetings, visitor. I am Benedict Glem Deming, Master of Arms of Pigsvik Academy. For years, I have taught magic and dueling with my training. Pigsvik students have won the Spiral Cup again and again. I am also the judge of this fine competition. My decisions are as fair as they are final. You come from Wizard City, no? You have my sympathy. Let us see if that charlatan Diego has taught you anything of worth. To qualify for the tournament, you must step into the Chamber of the Basilisk, if you will, and defeat Blaze Flamerender. There is no shame in defeat, so do not feel too badly if you do not succeed. Perhaps next year, no? He's so quick to dismiss our abilities. Oh, yeah, he is. I haven't looked at my deck. I don't even know what deck I have. Well, that should be worth killing something. Okay. Let's go give this a shot. Is this something we do together? No. It's alone, I think. It's well, a single well, fight. Okay. Well, A wizard of Ravenwood, huh? I'll go easy on you. Okay. Well, let's get it over with. It won't be too bad, I don't think. Yeah. Oh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> okay. I got my um got my pet level up again and he has another ma he has a new make cast. Yeah. Yep. What does he make cast? Forget what it is, but he has a new one. Is it another bubble? No, it's something else. Hmm. Maybe we'll see see some action here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He, he stuns them. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Oh, well, that's cool for those you can stun. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's going to try to heal himself now. Well, well, well. Let's see, or should we just... How yeah. much health does he have left? Like, three? Okay. Gonna one-shot him here in a second. Yeah. I I mean, I thought I was going to, but I didn't. I was really close, though. Good boy. Okay, yeah, so my pet will stun now. And he'll amplify her. And that's all pretty, and that's all good stuff there. 
Yeah, I'm done. I'm just gonna wait. Yeah, I'll be right out in a second. I'm about to smush him. Yeah. Okay. Yep, that should pretty much stop him out. Oh. Yeah. Wow! Go and tell Master Glen Dammit that you won the duel. I wasn't expecting much, but you certainly showed me a thing or two. For sure. For sure. Okay. First, first round down. If they're all going to be pickies, this may not take very long. Yeah. So Diego has stepped up his game, no? Very well then. You will not be going home just yet. The tournament consists of four rounds of duels, each round against a rival school. You must win each duel to proceed. See Mrs. Dowager outside. She will see to your accommodations within the student dormitory. Okay, time to go do some student dorm stuff. Yeah. Yeah, so, as I recall, there's a lot of running around at the beginning. Yeah, there's a lot of running around, like, period. It's like scheduling, I guess. I don't know. Good for you. It's been so long since a Ravenwood student competed. I was worried they'd given up teaching magic there. Wow. Now that we've determined That's you'll harsh. be staying to compete in the tournament, it's time to get you squared away. You should report to the student dormitory. I leveled up. There you can meet the students you will be matched I did too. against and introduce yourself. You'll be sharing quarters with Beatrice Wildwind, Kisai Shugenja, Nalia Doonstrider, and uh, Randolph Spellshine. Oh. You should also take the opportunity to put your Ravenwood class ring away. There's uh -huh. a small dresser. It should be safe there. Where it'll get stolen. Okay, let's go hmm. put my stuff up. Yeah. Oh, Burke. That's ex okay, so you can do pigs for 100,000. Man. There isn't even that many pigs. I know. Well, 100,000 gold, that's expensive, too. Yeah. Well, I mean, I have a spell to get, but I can get that after this. Because it's... I'm pretty sure it's my bubble, and I don't really need that. Right now, at least. I think Pig's Wick was one of the first new worlds they put out with all the new texturing that they do. Yeah. It looks a lot better than the other ones, do you, right? Hello! It's nice to meet you. I'm Beatrice Wildwind, from Weirwood. I look forward to crossing spells with you. Good luck! Cool. So, let's see here. Greetings, my fellow wizard. Please allow me to present myself. Kizai Shugenja, representing Mushu in this tournament. I have longed to pit my magical skills against one of the Ravenwood school wizards. So this is fortuitous indeed. Could be toast. Okay, let's see here. Let's move on. There we go. It's a pleasure to meet you, student of Ravenwood. I am called Nalia Doonstrider, and I come from a place called Mirage. I am unsurprised you have never heard of my world. It is a subtle place, an oasis in a desert of mystery. I really Perhaps want to go to Mirage. We will speak more before the tournament. Yeah, I think it's like the... No, it's not the newest world. I don't know. I don't know if it comes before or You're after the Polaris. the Wizard City representative? Hmm. The tournament has really lowered its standards this time around, I suppose. You don't hmm. think you have a chance of winning, do you? The Spiral Cup isn't going anywhere, and I'll be the one to win it. We'll see. Okay, let's go to the dresser. Put my ring there so it'll get stolen. <laughs> you place the Ravenwood class ring in the dresser. It should be safe here. You should report back to Mrs. Dowager. <sighs> if they ever like keep talking about the safety of the ring, you know it's not going to be safe for long. Well, yeah, exactly. Oh. Miss Dowager, this way, okay. Yeah, I always thought the street designs in this area were all pretty cool. Yeah. I like how they have, like, the moving people just walking around. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was another thing they started to do. I think, yeah, I, I, they were, I think they released Avalon pretty close to when they released this place. Yeah. I trust you had no trouble settling in? Not at all. 
It's time you met the headmistress of Pigswick Academy. Oh, yeah. Belladonna Chris. She's cute. She makes a point of meeting all students. Please go to the headmistress's office and introduce yourself. Please don't be late. She's a strong Shit. believer in discipline. I would transfer here just for her. That's weird. Oh, you're funny. Okay, let's go meet the headmistress. My goodness, she looks way better than Merle. <laughs> oh. Can't say anything of that, can you? Mm. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> okay, here she is. I've been waiting. What kept you? I suppose you've been welcomed by Mrs. Dowager and passed Benedict's test, so let's dispense with the formalities. I'm not sure what claptrap and nonsense they fill your head with at Ravenwood, but at Pigswick Academy, we study real magic. The first order of business will be for you to go and meet the professors here. They're this a, is a new close -up. group without exception. I hope they can straighten out some of the foolishness Ambrose and his cronies may The classrooms are located throughout the city. You should speak to everyone in whatever order you please. They are as follows. Professor Thaddeus Price, who teaches Tempest Magic. The Earth Professor is our very own Chester Drawls. <laughs> Ember Magic is taught by Professor Anku. Edna Fuligan teaches Spirit. And Chaos is Hieronymus Bunch. Rounding out our faculty are Quentin Burble teaching Frost Magic and Velma Pepper in the Equilibrium Classroom. You look confused. It's funny how they rename you don't everything. Know those schools of magic. Yeah. Speak to our faculty. Perhaps they can help. Okay. Let's see how fast I can run through and talk to all <laughs> the faculty. If, I mean, I think that they have like. I think Merle and her have a history of like something because they like she despises Welcome him for some to the reason. School I don't of know. Earth Magic, <laughs> young wizard. From the look of the soil on your boots, you're from Wizard City, right? I am Professor Drawers. Chester, Chester Drawers. <laughs> what? At any rate, <laughs> I teach Earth Magic here at Pigswick Academy. Magic of ground, growth, and the untamed wild. Because my school is that of the Earth, I find it stifling to teach inside, so I lecture outside whenever possible. Other schools teach flights of fancy and arcane manipulation of ethereal flummery, but Earth magic is the magic of the real. From Earth came all things, and eventually, all shall return to its clutches. Unless you have further questions, I really must return to my duties. So many papers to grade. Okay. Earth magic, or as we like to call it, life magic. Yeah. <laughs> Hello there! Did I surprise you? I'll wager your thinking. Oh, is that a Yeti? Teaching? I'd never expect that. Chaos! <laughs> That's the sort of thing I teach here. I am Professor Hieronymus Bunch, and Chaos Magic is my school of specialization. Chaos is the magic of the unexpected, the unusual, the unpredictable. It defies logic and turns things downside up. Anything and everything you can imagine can be found in chaos, except order. Order is boring. You don't want to find that. We'll talk more later, I'm sure. Or am I? <laughs> Okay, chaos magic. Interesting stuff. It's sad that you don't find anybody, like, here, any wizards or anything, but we're also not in a crowded realm, right? No, we're in a perfect realm because I want to avoid that. Okay. Greetings, young wizard. I am Professor Thaddeus Price, professor of Tempest Magic. I suppose you're interested in learning something about Tempest Magic, right? Tempest magic is about duality and hidden meaning. Like the tide, it's about the ebb and flow of life. The surface is stormy, to be sure, uh -huh. but beneath, it is dark and quiet, and the waters are deep beyond imagining. I gather they teach a slightly different approach at Ravenwood, but I'm fairly certain that here we have it right. Well, that sounds good to me. Man, their classrooms are so big and spacious. Yeah. But I mean, I like the classrooms in Ravenwood because they're like... Oh, they just close in on you. Yeah. It's not a bad thing, though. 
<laughs> okay. Greetings, O oh honored guest of like the Lizard match. City. I am Professor Anku, your humble servant and guide to Ember Magic. Ember Magic is about warmth and security. In the cold, dark of the spiral, Ember is like a warm rock to stretch out on. Wizards who study Ember Magic are not very adventuresome and prefer the comforts of hearth and home. Ember wizards are crafters, doctors, and cooks. That's fine. Using flame to forge artifacts, treat injuries, or bake cookies. Nice. So from the ember we can learn cookies. much. Better to be safe and patient than to leap into action. I hope that explains things. Oh, well, that's certainly not the fire school. He's definitely more of a unique um, mander design than the other ones. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's go talk to Quentin Burble. Um. Okay. Whoop, 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 whoop. There we go. <sighs> well, hello there, my little friend. It's... What brings you here? You want to learn about frost magic? You should talk to someone who knows mm. them. Oh! That would be me. Caught me off guard, you did. Right. Where was I? I am Professor Quentin Purple at your service. You may have surmised that I am not from around these parts. I teach Pigswick Academy students about the nature of frost. Frost is fleeting and quick. A fragile and delicate thing. It appears rarely, but when it does, it forms crystals of amazing beauty and complexity. Frost is like magic in that. Do you understand frost magic now? Because I'm afraid I don't know more than that. I'm behind in my lesson preparation. Bonnie. That okay. sounded like um, when, some, when somebody tries to write an essay about something that they don't know about in school. <laughs> Here we go. Why, hello there, young wizard. You have the look of a newcomer to Pigswick Academy. Welcome to my laboratory. I am Professor Velma Pepper, and I teach the magic of equilibrium. My school represents bringing order to the spiral. The natural world is full okay, of confusion so. and disorganization, and thus it is the role of the equilibrium Balance wizard school. to create mm -hmm. harmony. We must use whatever tools we have in this important duty. Marley Bonios. All are equal, so long as they perform the task at hand. I trust that what I've taught you instills a semblance of order to your own worldview. Now, though, I must return to work. Okay. One thing that, like, I realize, like, has confused me a lot. So, Marleybone dogs look different than the dogs from Avalon. Yeah, well, Avalon. Yeah, well. They have like a couple, like basset hound dogs, I yeah. guess. Yeah, they have hound dogs usually. Let's try this again. Alrighty, here we go. Edna Fooligan. Fooligan? Who dares disturb me? Hmm. You must be here for the tournament, eh? Another <laughs> of those tiresome <laughs> meet the professors to. Let me introduce myself, then. I am Professor Edna Fuligen, and I instruct Pigswick students in spirit magic. Spirit magic Skull concerns death. the ghostly state that exists after life. We are students of the immaterial world. I've heard of problems with Professor Malastare back at Ravenwood. Maybe his assistant Dwargan will be better. Okay. He just kind of doesn't know what he's doing. That's the extent of Dwargan. Okay, so let's go talk to the headmistress again. Yep. Oh, 
all the different ins and outs of this place are fun. Yeah, there's like different pathways to get to the different areas and it's cool. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Did the tour of our faculty help repair the inadequacies of your prior education? Sure it did. Perhaps when the tournament is over, you can transfer from Ravenwood to Pigswick and really learn something. I've heard that at Ravenwood, they teach you that the source of all magic is a tree, and it's in the center of your school. How awfully convenient that <laughs> must be. The animation's funny. Do they really expect you to believe such nonsense? At Pigswick Academy, we recognize that the source of all magic is a fountain, not a tree, and it's right here on campus. When you're finished, return here and let me know what you've observed. You're a student. So go on, learn something. And it's funny with how, that, I think it's time for us to go and break it. Yeah, what were you we gonna say? It's funny how um, she makes fun of the tree, but and she says it's it's convenient that it um, is in our school. And she's like, oh yeah, the fountain, it's in our school. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, well this is Kieran Froghammer. And Kimberly Thunderblue. And we want to say thank you again for watching. And hopefully you're gonna hopefully you'll catch us some more. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and we can't wait for the next adventure here at the Pigswick Academy.